Welcome here to our Shorthorn Show for the sale show this morning, or I guess this afternoon now. Our judge for the day is Mr. Noah Scringer from Rogers, Ohio. We appreciate Noah coming down to be with us today to evaluate the sale cattle. We're going to be starting the show with Shorthorn Plus heifers, and first into the ring in Class 1 will be a single entry. Lot 44, Smith's Miss Wicks, 210, born September 1st, 2022. Our queens today, uh, the Ohio Shorthorn Lassie queen for this year is with us. She's Bailey Joy Davis, the daughter of Tammy and Doug Davis of Winchester, Ohio. And she's the granddaughter of Patrick and Linda Bailey. She's a senior at Ripley High School and Southern Hills CTC. Also with us is, the, is Anna Cosman, the daughter of Chris and Tiffany Cosman of Medina, Ohio. She is a student at Buckeye Intermediate School and is in the sixth grade. So we thank those ladies for being here. What a what great way to start out our Shorthorn show here with a single entry Shorthorn Plus. This September heifer sure got a lot of things you appreciate about her. One that's so good in her uh, growth and size, one that's got some performance. When you get in behind that one, she's sure stout and powerful as she goes. One that sure has a good look about her. Really nice single entry here that could have used a lot of competition.
Another really nice single entry here in our Shorthorn show. I think one that you really appreciate the femininity about this one, how smooth she lays in through her shoulder, how tight and extended she is up through there. One that sure gets out and goes. One for her age, we sure like to see the condition she's in. She's just a little greener than some of those others that have come through. But one that you sure like the way she is and the future look she's got about her. Really nice female here. also exhibited by Twin Hills Farms. Walking in now, we have Class 2B, and they are being led in by Buckeye Herford Junior Princess Natalie Listen. Natalie lives in Seville with her parents Andy and Janine and her brother Nathan. In Class 2B, we have lot number 20, THF Katie 3K, shown by Twin Hills Farms. Lot number 32, SBF Trust Power Tammy BB19, owned by Stonebrook, Stonebroke Farms. We have lot number 11, UHF 10B Lizzie U02K, shown by Ralph E. Ullman and Sons. Lot number 27, EML Miss South Dakota, Emma, shown by Emma Lewis. And lot number 31, SBF CM Boyd Connie BB18, exhibited by Stonebroke Farms. After class 2B, we will have our second division to to crown our champion intermediate heifer.
Another really nice class of uh, March heifers here in our Shorthorn Plus show. I think the one that leads off, one that kind of just a combination female of the group, one that's sure so attractive and good looking. When we ask her to get out and go, I think that one moves as free as anything in the class. One that uh, you sure like her when you still step in behind. There's still some width of skeleton and width of base, and, and she's got some power with being as pretty and, and functional as she is as you get off to the side of her. I think the young man's heifer that's coming second, probably one that uh, sure is a good heifer, one that's sure cowy in the way she's designed. You like that one's hip and uh, width that back through her pins, one that gets out and moves so free and easy, just gives up maybe a little bit of look compared to our heifer that leads off the class. Young lady's calf that comes next, one that's a little greener in her design, but I think as we look at one with future, I think that one sure got a lot of future in her. Really like the front end structure of that one, the way she gets out and goes, and the, and the level of lines as you get back through her top and hip. Young ladies, heifer, we're going to round the class out with. Sure, the powerhouse of the class. When you really appreciate how much mass and muscle she's got, one, if I could change her just a little bit, I'd like to just free her up a tiny bit as she goes from behind, but a really, really nice class of females here. Results of class 2B, first went to lot number 11, exhibited by Ralph E. Ullman and Sons. Second went to lot number 20, exhibited by Twin Hills Farms. Third went to lot number 27, exhibited by Emma Lewis. Fourth went to lot number 31, exhibited by Stonebroke Farm. And fifth went to lot number 32, also exhibited by Stonebroke Farm. In the ring now, we have our second division. In the first hole... We have lot number two, or 22, excuse me, THF Francia, 11K. And in the second hole, we, we have lot number 11, UHF 10B Lizzie, UO 2K, for Judge Todd Herman to evaluate.
Congratulations to our Division II champion. That goes to Twin Hills Farms with lot number 22, THF Francia 11K. Reserve in this division went to lot number 11, UHF 10B Lizzie UO 2K, exhibited by Ralph E. Ullman and Sons. Coming in now, led by our Buckeye Hereford Queen, Jess Miller. Jeff lives in Lakeville with her parents, David and Mindy Miller, and her brother, Cody. We thank Jess for being here. She's leading class number three. First up is lot number 19, Creek 907-404 Bailey 236K, shown by Creek Bottom Farm. Lot number 30, LHC Marty 2001, exhibited by Long Haul Cattle. And lot number 18, Creek 907-802 Candy 228K, also exhibited by Creek Bottom Farm. Another really nice class here in our Shorthorn Plus show. I think two heifers that kind of pulled themselves to the top pretty easy, but I think this heifer that leads us off, when you really appreciate how good she is through that chest, how long and extended up through that front end, how feminine looking she is out of that head, and as she comes back, one that's still good in her heart, and she's got some shape when you get right up on top of her, one that's really wide in her skeleton, wide-based, wide-pinned, just a lot of really nice things about that female. Young, Not to take anything away from the young lady's baldy female that comes next, one if I could change that in comparison to our class winner, I think ever so slightly just gets a little more chest than our class winner, one that I'd like to just stretch her body out a tiny bit compared to that heifer, but I think another really nice female that sure got a lot of shape and body, one that's really expressive when you get right over top over on her muscle patterns. Young lady's black heifer that's going to come third. I think one that uh, for me is the cow prospect of the group. One you really appreciate that she's not a lot of hair, not a lot of fluff. One that what you see is what you get. She's long and extended. She's good bodied. When we ask that one to get out and go, she gets out and travels really well. She might be just a little finer than those ones up above us, but I think one that sure has a lot of potential in the pasture for us down the, in the future. Young man's red and white calf, another really stout made, burly kind of female that comes next. One that gets just a little shorter in her spine, a little less extended than some of those ones up above her, but a really, really nice group of females in this class. Just a single entry here in our bred females for our Shorthorn Plus show, but I think one that sure could have stood a lot of competition. 
when you really have to appreciate the cowiness about her, how she's uh, how she shows off through that front end, one that's so bold in her ribs, still got some meat and muscle when you get in behind her, just a really, really nice female. Results from class number three, but first I need to introduce our Buckeye Hereford princess, Jalen Eddy. Jalen is the daughter of Jason and Casey Eddy of Jewitt, Ohio. Uh, results from class number three, first goes to lot 18, Creek 907-802 Candy 228K, exhibited by Creek Bottom Farm. Second goes to lot number 30, exhibited by Long Haul Cattle. And third goes to lot number 19, also exhibited by Creek Bottom Farm. In the ring now, we have class number four. In the first hole, we have lot number 36, KT Olivia, 206K, owned by Kramer Cattle Co. Lot number 28, HPH, 7225, Margarita, 2209, exhibited by Helsinger Pold Herefords. Lot number eight, JB Marcy, exhibited by J&B Founds. And lot number 35, MTG Luna, exhibited by MTG Farm. All of these females were born in March 2022. Results from class number four. <clears throat> First place went to lot number 28, HPH 7225 Margarita 2209, exhibited by Helsinger Pold Herefords. Second went to lot number 30, er, 36, KT Olivia 206K, exhibited by Kramer Cattle. Lot, er, excuse me, third went to lot number eight, JB Marcy, exhibited by JNB Founds. And fourth to lot number 35, MTG Luna, exhibited by MTG Farm. 
In the ring now, we have our champion spring yearling heifer coming in. In the first hole, we have lot number 18, Creek 907802 Candy 228K, exhibited by Creek Bottom Farm. And in the second hole, we have that same lot 28 heifer exhibited by Helsinger Pold Herefords. Congratulations to our Division Three champions. Champion went to Creek Bottom Farm with Lot 18, Creek 907802 Candy 228K, and Reserve went to Helsinger Pold Herefords with Lot 28, HPH 7225, Margarita 2209. Walking in now, we have Class Number Five, Lot 34, MTG Lucy, shown by MTG Farm, and Lot Number 25, GKH 7225 Stella 2202 exhibited by Grant Helsinger. As we go to finish off our Shorthorn Plus show, we've been a little short in numbers, but I sure think as we stand out here and look at this final drive, I think we're pretty high in quality. I think starting from our first September calf all the way back through our bred female and our second place animals out here, they, they all are high quality females, uh, all a little different in the way they're made, a little different in their shape and size and, and performance. But I think uh, a group of females that, that structurally are sound, they get out and go. Just a really nice group of females brought to us by these consigners. There's some little differences in, in them. Um, they've maybe got some differences in maturity and endpoints. And, and depending on what you're looking for as you go, I think uh, ones that sure can fit a lot of different realms is what we look for as we go through these and uh, start picking animals that we want to take out and show or breed. But I think a really nice group. If we could give them a round of applause and uh, I'll select you a grand in reserve in this drive.
Catching back up in the Hereford Show, class number five in automatic division. First in that class in division champion was lot number 25, Grant Helsinger. And second in that class in reserve division was lot number 34, MTG Farm. In the ring for class six and also an automatic division for your champion senior yearling heifer was lot number six, LBK ARH 3F Tiki 11J, exhibited by Keats Herefords. Only two head here in our Shorthorn Plus show, but I think two really nice bulls for us to bring out. I'll go through and kind of talk about them for you. The young lady's red bull, March bull, one that sh you sure appreciate the amount of power that one's got. That one's stout from his nose all the way back through his tail. He's big-footed. He's big-legged. He's sure got a lot of turn and shape up out of that top. Really big-hipped. One that's a little moderate in his size compared to his contemporary here in behind him, but one you sure appreciate the amount of mass and power he's got. Young man's uh, January bowl that comes, would come out of the next class, one you sure appreciate that performance, the size he's got, the growth he's got, the length of spine he's got. When you step in behind him, you're still sure impressed with the amount of muscle and power he's got right in there, right through his pins and up over his top. One that maybe is just a little greener is condition compared to the one before, but I think one that's got just as much shape or rib and body, just not that hanging quite as low with a little less condition on him today. But two really, really nice Shorthorn Plus bulls. If we could, let's give them a round of applause and I'll select you a champion in reserve. Over in the Hereford ring, we have our champion heifer coming into the ring. In our first division, we have, we have KHJLCS 15E Ruby 5J, or 5G K75ET owned by Kayla Har, with our reserve in that division being exhibited by Ralph E. Ullman and Sons. In our second division, we have lot number, lot number 22, excuse me, THF Francia 11K exhibited by Twin Hills Farms and the reserve in that division also being exhibited by Ralph E. Ullman and Sons. In our third division, we have lot number 18, Creek 907-802 Candy 228K, exhibited by Creek Bottom Farm. And our reserve in that division was, was lot number 28, exhibited by Helsinger Pold Herefords. In our next division, we have lot number 25, GKH 7225 Stella 2202, exhibited by Grant Helsinger, and our reserve being exhibited by MTG Farm, lot 34. And in our final division, we have lot number six, LBK ARH 3F Tiki 11J, exhibited by Keats Herefords. Let's give a round of applause to all the exhibitors as well as our royalty and uh, our ring staff out here for helping put on a great heifer show.
Congratulations to our champion heifers in the Hereford ring. Your grand champion heifer went to lot number 22, born on May 31st, 2022, THF Francia 11K, exhibited by Twin Hills Farms. Reserve overall heifer went to lot number 11, born May 4th, 2022, UHF 10B Lizzie. UO2K, exhibited by Ralph E. Ullman and Sons. Let's give those exhibitors one more big round of applause to congratulate them. We'll take a brief moment to pause here and come back with our cow-calf pairs. As we get into our purebred shorthorn show, I think a really nice pair of summer borns coming in for us. Um, I think a pair of heifers that, that sure have a lot of things going for them. I think we're going to leave them just they came in. I think the young man's heifer that's going to lead off this class, one that for me just gives a, gives a little more body, a little more shape to her. As we start looking at that one, we sure like the angle she's got to those legs, one that's so long and extended up through her front, one that just catches your eye and drags you in the whole time you look at her around the ring. Young man's red and white heifer that's going to come second. I think a, another one of those good-looking, good-powered females. One that maybe just gives up a little bit of body today. One that's just a little greener in condition as we go. But I think a really, really nice pair of females in this class. In the Hereford ring now, we have class number seven coming to you. In the first slot, we have lot number two, Churchview D1 Ramblin' Rose 927J, exhibited by J and L Cattle. This cow has a tested heifer calf at side born on February 14th, 2023. In the second slot, we have lot number 29, JH Knox's Miss Lucy, exhibited by JH Horses and Cattle. This cow has a heifer calf born on September 25th, 2022, sired by Frontier. Next up, we have lot number 16, Diamond M F13D48 Lily 1H, exhibited by Diamond M Herefords. Lot 16 also has a heifer calf born on February 4th, 2023, sired by Ned and Jan Ward's Haas 41 Ebel. Last in the ring is lot number 26, TLR Joe Joy 801F, exhibited by Emma Lewis. That is an X lot in your catalog, just so you know. So when you go by and look at them, make sure to ask for an updated supplement sheet. And this is a bred cow who's bred to CUDA due in May.
Congratulations to our cow-calf exhibitors. Uh, this, this class was also to pit select your grand champion and reserve champion cow. Uh, first in this class and your grand champion went to lot number two, Churchview D1 Ramblin' Rose 927J, exhibited by J&L Cattle. Second went to lot number 29, J.H. Knox's Miss Lucy, J exhibited by J.H. Horses and Cattle. Third went to lot number 16, exhibited by Diamond M, or excuse me, named Diamond M F13 D48 Lily 1H, exhibited by Diamond M Herefords. And fourth went to lot number 26, TLR Joe Joy 801 F, exhibited by Emma Lewis. We'll take another brief moment here and come back in with class A, our first class of bulls. Here in our Shorthorn Female Show, I think another really good class, one that maybe is a little more difficult to sort through. I think three really good cattle, but I think they come to us in, in different kinds of packages. I think different maturities, different, different stages on their condition and growth patterns. But I think three really, really nice females. I think the one we're going to lead off with, one for me, probably the combination of the group, one that's sure long and attractive out through that front. One as we get right up under, I think that one's probably the widest based got the most width to her skeleton as we look at this group of females. One that uh, is good and long hip, one that's got some turn and shape out of her top. She's a really nice May female to lead us off. Young man's red and white heifer that's gonna come second. One that's sure the high performing one of the group. One that, as we look at her, that one's way greener in her condition type. But one, as you start studying the parts of that one, you really appreciate how long and extended she is. You appreciate the growth she's got. You really appreciate that foot and leg on her. One that's so big footed and got some power as she goes away from us. One that just sure looks like she'll have a lot of longevity here for us in the long run. Yes. Young yep. lady's uh, red and white heifer that's gonna come next, not to take anything away from her. One that for me gives up just a little bit of performance compared to the two up above her, but one that's sure attractive in her look, one that's long and extended in the way she's made, one that's got some rib shape, meat and muscle about her. Three really, really nice females just in different packages in that class today. Go ahead. In the ring now on the Hereford side, we have class number eight, and we do have a, a switch in uh, the program, and the first hole is lot number 17, Creek 847 Redeem 133J, exhibited by Creek Bottom Farm. In the second slot, we have lot number one, JLCS 4013 Advantage J67, exhibited by JNL Cattle. And third, we have lot number 10, UHF U32C Cannon 68F U24JET, exhibited by Ralph E. Ullman and Sons. And in, the, and in the final spot, we have lot number four, MMA Historic J107, exhibited by Macy Adderholt. Again, in your program, the first two switched. And this is class number eight.
here in our class of Aprils on our shorthorn heifer side. I think uh, three really nice heifers, three really different kind of females. I think the young man's heifer we're going to start out with, for me, is the one that kind of catches my eye, and I think it's got the most parts about her that, that I really like. Um, you know, that one's, that one's a little hollow in her look today. Doesn't look like she ate or drank real good today. But, you know, as I study that one, I think at the ground, that one just gets out and excels our others just a little bit, maybe just a little softer in those legs as she gets out and goes. One that sure got some look. She's long and extended up through her front. As you study her, she's got some width of base. She's got some muscle when you get right in behind her. Probably the widest pin to the group. But one that uh, just a little behind in her condition compared to a couple of those others. The young man's heifer that's going to come next. Wait. Sure, the powerhouse of the class. One that you really appreciate the amount of muscle and mass she's got. When you get in behind her, she's really bold and stout, and she's bold back through that rib. One, if I could, I'd like to just soften that one up a little bit when she gets going. One, I'd like to just see her just relax a little bit as we get out here and travel. Young man's uh, heifer coming out next. One that's sure attractive and good looking. One that's sound and gets out and moves really well. One today that just gives up a little bit of performance compared to those ones up above her. Maybe gives up just a little bit of that extra with the skeleton and with the base that we like to see in those top couple up above her. All right, on the shorthorn side, we'll catch you up with placings in class 10. First place went to entry number 25 from Smith Showstock. Second place went to number entry number 24 from Mingus Farms. And third place went to entry number 26 also from Mingus Farms. In the ring now, we have class 11. We have, uh, I'll let you know that lot 20 is out, so we have three heifers in this class. First one in the ring was lot 23 from CD Shorthorn. She is CD's Nala, born March 20th. Next into the ring was entry number 22 from Fuzzy Show Cattle, FSJSK Little Dorothy, born March 15th. And third into the ring is entry number 21 from Dasco Cattle Company, Dask Roan Delight, 2207, born March 15th.
Really nice class of March heifers here. I think there's some give and take as we go amongst them, but I think a really, really nice trio of females. Young ladies, red heifer, we're going to start off with, sure, a, a bold, powerful female, one that sure got a lot of shape, whether it be to her muscle, to her rib, one that's big-footed, she's got some bone, one that sure gets out and travels really nice. I think one for me, and as we compare it to the one right behind her, one I would like to clean up just a little bit right through that chest and front end, but that's getting pretty picky on a pretty nice female. Young ladies, female that comes next, one for me that has that little more attractiveness right through that front end, might be a little cleaner right up under through that bottom line of her skeleton. One for me that maybe gets just a little shorter in comparison to our class winner, but, but one that sure has a lot of bells and whistles and really good things about her. Young man's heifer that's coming next, one that gives up a little on condition and performance compared to a couple of those ones, but one that's sure attractive and got some base width, one that sure gets out and travels really nice and you really appreciate her length of spine and length of front end about her. All right, placings in class 11. First to entry number 22, entry number 22 from Fuzzy Show Cattle. Second place, entry number 21. Entry number 21 was from Dasco Cattle Company. And entry in third place to entry number 23. 23 is from CD Shorthorns. Into the ring now we have class 12. We should have five heifers in this class. Lot 19 leads them off. This is an entry from Hidden Hollow Farm, HH Augusta Special, born February 21st, 2022. Next in the ring should be entry number 18 from Twin Oak Farms. 18 is TOF Lady 19K, born February 16th. The third heifer into the ring should be entry number 17. Entry number 17 is 6R Red Hottie LL 214K, born February 14th, 2022. Fourth into the ring should be entry number 16. Entry number 16 is MDL Red Rocket, consigned by D's Show Cattle, born February 11th, 2022. And the fifth effort in this class is entry number 15, another Twin Oaks Farms consignment, TOF Lacey, 15K, born February 2nd.
Really nice class of February heifers here, and I think uh, an exceptional kind of female to start us off. I think whether you're looking at show heifers or cows, this one sure gets you excited. This one's so good looking and attractive, so long and extended through her hip. One that's got some body and shape. You really appreciate the amount of width and mass she's got and that turn to a rib right out of her top. Really nice female to lead off this class. Young man's calf coming next. One I think that most closely follows that calf. One that I think sure has some look and eye appeal about her. Maybe not the hair that gets her quite as flashy looking, but as you start studying the parts, that one's good and long through her front end, really bold out through her body. Just a really, really nice kind of female. Young man's calf coming next, one that maybe just gives up a little of that pizzazz of the two above her. But as you start to study her, there's a lot of good things about her. One that's super long and extended, one that gets out and travels well, one that's got some base width and got some power. Really, really nice kind of female here in the third hole. Really high performing female coming next for this young lady. One that you sure appreciate that about her. She is big and long and extended, got a really good weight per day age. When we ask her to go, she gets out and goes. One that maybe just gives up a little bit of that shape compared to her contemporaries in this class, but a really, really nice kind of female. Young ladies class that's gonna round out the class. Sure, one that's got some power and mass and you're really excited about that as you get in behind her and get in front of her. One that maybe just doesn't have quite the look and eye appeal as a couple of the others, but one that sure got some really good pieces to breed on. Placings in class. 12. First place went to entry number 17 from 6R Farms. Second place went to entry number 15 from Twin Oak Farms. Third place went to number 18 from Twin Oak Farms. Fourth place went to number 16 from D's Show Cattle. And fifth place went to number 19 from Hidden Hollow Farms. Into the ring now, we have class 13, which is a single entry class. We have one entry in there, as I said, lot 14, born January 2nd, 2022. She is DASC Proud Fool 2201, born January 2nd, as I said, from Dasco Cattle Company, lot 1-4. Really nice single entry January heifer in our shorthorn show and one that sure could have stood a lot of competition. One you sure love the performance about her. Um, you know, some people might say that one's a little green. I really appreciate the condition she's in. That one's fleshy in the way she's made, but she's not fat. She's still got some shape and rib shape about her. Just a really, really nice female here in our January class that sure should have, could have stood a lot of competition. Again, that class winner was from Dasco Short Orange, lot 14. Now we should have class 14 coming in, two entries in this class. First one in will be lot 13 from D's Show Cattle, born December 18th, 2021. And the second heifer in the ring will be lot 12, coming to us from CNS Hetrick Show Cattle. She's born 12 21, 2021. She is Prince's Traveling Test 1201, and lot 13 is D's O Baby.
we want to remind you that at the conclusion of the show, um, all the sale cattle will be displayed in their pens over in the barn and or in their stalls in the barn. And the Oklahoma Shorthorn Breeders Association is going to be sponsoring a lunch. So make sure you come by for the lunch and to visit with the consigners and also take a look at all the sale cattle uh, up close and personal. So also want to thank our judge today, Mr. Noah Scringer. Noah? Another really nice pair of females here in this December class, senior yearling type females. I think one that leads off for us, one that's just so attractive in the way she's built. That one's so good at the ground. She gets out and travels so well. You really love the angles of that one, skeleton. One that's long and extended. She's got some, she's got some size. She's got a little more performance than our other heifer. One that, depending on where you like to go, I mean, I kind of like a bigger female, and I think that one kind of fits that range. I really like the performance and growth she's got. Just a really, really attractive, really well-made kind of female to lead this class off. Not to take anything away from the young lady's heifer that's going to come out second. I think one that's sure got plenty of performance to her. One that's sure stout and bold. One that maybe just gives up a little bit of the pizzazz compared to the heifer right in front of her. But a really, really nice pair of females. Placings in class 14 first to entry 12 from CNS Hetrick Show Cattle. And second place to entry 13. Entry 13 is consigned by D's Show Cattle. Now we're going to have a single entry into the ring. It's lot 11. You can make that correction in your show program. Class 15 has lot 11. She is from Twin Oaks Farms, and she is TOF Killian Red 40HA, born October 1st, 2021. Really nice single entry here in our uh, October senior yearling type division. One that uh, you should sure really appreciate the amount of mass and power she's got. One that as we come in here, she's a bred female. Do do right it there before her second birthday. One you you really appreciate the way she's just going to reproduce for us. The mass and body she's got. Just a really really good cow prospect here for this young man. Class winner there again was Lot 11, Lot 11, TOF Killian Red 48J from Twin Oaks Farms. Now we're going to bring in your class winners and the second places and pick your champion purebred shorthorn heifer and reserve champion purebred shorthorn heifer. So as we come in here, we're going to be bringing in Lot 32, Lot 32 MBS, MBS Regal Daphne, born July 7th from Narrowbrook Shorthorns. Class 9 winner is Lot 28. Lot 28 from Cagwin Farms, CCS Fancy Nancy 504K. Class 10 winner is entry number 25 from Smith Showstock, Smith's Roan Rose 207. Class 11 winner is entry number 22. Entry number 22 is FSJSK Little Dorothy, born March 15th from Fuzzy Show Cattle. Class 12, class winners, entry number 17 from 6R Farms, 6R Red Hottie, LL214K, born February 14th. Class 13's winner was lot number 14 from Dasco Cattle Company, Dask Proud Fool, 2201. Class 14's class winner was lot 12. Lot 12 is from CNS Hetrick Cattle Cup Show Cattle, Princesses Traveling Test, 1201. And our final class winner from class 15 is lot 11 from Twin Oak Farms, TOF Killian Red 48J. Our second place females are lot 31. Lot 31 comes to us from Cagwin Farms. That was in class 8. Class 9 second place female was lot 27 from Rains Family Shorthorns. Class 10 second place female was lot 24 from Mingus Family. Second place in class 11 was entry 21 from Dasco Cattle Company. Second place in class 12 was lot 15. Lot 15 comes to us from Twin Oak Farms. 
There was no second in class 13. Class 14, second place female, was entry number 13. Entry 13 come to us from D's show cattle. And there was no second place in the final class 15. So these are the class winners and the respective seconds that will be in contention for your champion shorthorn purebred and reserve champion shorthorn purebred sale heifers today. So I want to introduce our queens again. Our Ohio shorthorn lassie queen is Bailey Joy Davis from Winchester, Ohio. We certainly appreciate her being here with us today to help with the conduct of the show. And we also have uh, Anna Cosman. Anna Cosman from Medina. She is uh, one of our, uh, also some of our Lassie royalty here today, though. So we appreciate both those young ladies. Let's give them a nice round of applause. And I've been corrected. The meal after the show is sponsored by the Ohio Short Arm Breeders Association. Sorry about that. And again, that'll be back in the barns. Uh, next to the stall area there. So at the conclusion of the show here, after we get done with the bull show, be sure and uh, head that way for some Shorthorn Fellowship and a nice lunch provided by the Ohio Shorthorn Breeders Association. I'd also like to send a shout out to Cedar Lane Shorthorns. They're the sponsor of the live auctions taught dot TV bro broadcast today. They're, they're live broadcasting the uh, sales show over the internet. So we appreciate Margo being here and doing that. And we'll also remind you that our sales tomorrow at 10 a.m at the sale arena, 10 a.m. sharp, and we'll be uh, getting that underway and offering this great set of cattle to the public. And they also want me to remind you that the uh, Ohio Shorthorn Breeders Association booth is located over in the trade show, so be in sure and stop by there as well and visit with those people. So, so we'll see what Judge Scringer does here. He's got a nice lineup of heifers to uh, make his selections from. I think as we come out here in our uh, final drive of our Shorthorn Female Show, what an impressive group of females these breeders have brought us. Um, I know we go, there's a lot of differences in these cattle. I think as we look at them, though, they're, they're just all solid, good cattle. We've got some that, you know, we could take out this weekend here and show at the Beef Expo and, and stand really competitive and be really ready to go. And, and we've got some that are a little greener in their condition. Um, maybe a little more long-term in their project type, but I think as we start studying these cattle, they're, they're good cattle. They've got good parts. They're sound moving. They've sure got a lot of body and look and extension. Um, I think little differences between them all, but if we could, let's give these breeders a big round of applause for the great set they've brought you this week to buy. With that, I'll go ahead and select you a grain and reserve in our show today. Let's put a round of applause there for our judge today, Noah Scringer. Certainly appreciate him being out with us today. <laughs> and your champion comes from Class 8 from Narrowbrook Shorthorns, entry number 32. 32 is NBS Regal Daphne. Again from Narrowbrook Shorthorns, congratulations to the Narrowbrook program.
And your reserve female is lot 17, 6R Red Hottie LL 214K, exhibited by 6R Farms. Congratulations to uh, both the Narrowbrook and 6R programs, and congratulations to all the exhibitors on a very, very strong purebred short horn heifer show. As we get regrouped here, we're going to be into selling our, or excuse me, showing our short horn bulls. Class 16 is that bull's been scratched. So lot eight scratch, so we'll start with class 17 here in just a minute with lot seven, a single entry. Okay, our first bull coming in, in class 17. This is entry seven from Maplebrook Farms. This is MBF, MBCF Raising a Hurricane, born April 2nd. Again, that's lot seven, a single entry in class 17 here. Really nice single entry white bull here to start off our uh, short horn bull show. One that I think sure got a lot of good things about him. One you really like his performance. That one's big and powerful and stout. When you look at him, he looks like a breeding bull. One that's sure masculine in his design up through that head. As we step in behind him, that one sure got some good testicle development. One that we think we can turn out and breed some cows with here right off the bat. Just a really, really nice April bull to start us off. Again, that class winner was entry number seven. Entry number seven from Maplebrook Farms, MBCF Raising a Hurricane. Next, we're going to have class 18 coming in with two entries. First one in will be lot six. Lot six is H.H. Brickhouse, born March 20th, 2022. This bull is consigned by Hidden Hollow Farms. And the second bull in the class is born lot five. Lot five is Pleasant Jesco White, born 3-7-2022 consigned by Pleasant View Farms.
Really nice pair of March Bulls here in our Shorthorn Bull Show. I think a, uh, a pair of Bulls that sure have some performance. They've got some growth. I think a pair that sure got some meat and muscle when you get in behind them. We're going to leave them like they came in the ring. I think the bull that we're going to lead off with, one that maybe just gives us a little more softness to his skeleton, a little more softness to his body, one that gets out and moves just a little freer and easier compared to the one right behind him, but a really attractive, long-sided, good-looking kind of bull to be here in second, but a really nice pair of March bulls for us today. Placings in class 18. First place went to lot six. Lot six is H.H. Brickhouse, consigned by Hidden Hollow Farms. And second was lot five from Pleasant View Farms. Lot five, Pleasant Jesco White. Our final bull class today will be class 19. Lot four is a scratch. Lot four is a scratch. So the first bull in the ring will be lot three. Lot three is Rainy Day Deuces, born 2 2022, consigned by Rainy Day Shorthorns. The next bull into the ring, lot Lot two is Rain's Authority AMG, born 2-10-2022, from Rain's Family Shorthorns. And our final bull in this class of the day is Lot one, DCFS Double Take, born February 6th, from Double Creek Farms, the Meyer family.
really nice trio of February bulls here. I think the bull we're going to lead off with for me is the combination calf of the bunch. I think one that's got some look, got some power, one that sure looks like he's got some longevity to him. You sure like that maturity pattern about him. One that's starting to really look like a bull out here and, and act like a bull. Just a really nice, complete kind of animal to lead this class off. Young man's calf coming next. Sure, the flashy one of the bunch. He sure catches your eye with that color palette and, and the length of, length of his front end, length of his body. You get on that one. That one's super stout. One for me, I'd like to just soften him up a little bit all the way through. One, I'd like to make him just a little softer through his middle, just a little softer in his skeleton, but a real high eye appeal, really good looking kind of bull and come in second. Young man's bull that's gonna round out the class. I think one that, that just hit a couple good buzz saws, one that I think is a really good bull. Been one of the bulls that he could have probably won a couple of these other classes we've had today, but one that gives up just a little too much performance, a little too much eye appeal compared to just those couple above him, but a really good beef kind of bull for us here today. All right, placings in our final bull class of the day, class 19, first place went to entry two from Rain's family on Rain's Authority, AMG. Second place went to entry number one from Double Creek Farms on DCFS Double Take, and third place went to lot three, Rainy Day Deuces from Rainy Day Shorthorns. Now we're gonna bring back your class winners and the various respective second place bulls for your champion and reserve champion shorthorn purebred bull selection. So Lot 7 will be leading the way in. Lot 7 is MBCF Raising a Hurricane, born April 2nd from Maplebrook Farms. Or Maplebrook Short, yeah, Maplebrook Farms. Class winner in our next class was entry number 6. Entry number 6 is HH Brickhouse, born March 20th from Hidden Hollow Farms. And our final class winner is entry number 1, or excuse me, entry number 2, entry number 2 from Rains. Family Shorthorns, Reigns Authority, AMG, born February 10th. Our second base bull from class 18 was Lot 5. Lot 5 is Pleasant Jessica White from Pleasant View Farms. And our second place bull in class 19 was entry number 1, DCFS Double Take from Double Creek Farms. Again, I want to uh, thank our judge, Noah Scringer, here as we... Uh, Kind of wind up our show here with the selection of our champion reserve purebred shorthorn. He's done a great job of uh, working through the cattle day, and we certainly appreciate his comments and input. We want to remind you that the cattle are going to be stalled over in the barn in the stalls here at the conclusion of the show, and that the Ohio Shorthorn Breeders Association is sponsoring a lunch over there, so be sure and come over and have lunch and visit with the consigners and take a look at the cattle up close and personal. Sales tomorrow at 10 a.m. And check out the uh, Ohio Shorthorn Breeders Association booth in the trade show as well. So we had a great uh, audience here today viewing. We thank you all for coming, and we look forward to the sale tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. at the auction arena. As we finish up our Shorthorn show today, I'd like to thank the uh, Ohio Shorthorn Association for having me out to, to evaluate these cattle today and the breeders for having me out here. I think uh, quite a group of cattle that have been brought out to us all day, and I think these bulls are no exception. I think there's some differences in them. Um, but as we all know, we all have different needs in our breeding program, and I'm sure there's, there's bulls out here that can meet those needs for lots of different people for lots of different reasons. But I think bulls that have some structural integrity, they've got some meat and mass, they've got some some look about them. I just think a really, really good group of bulls. If we could, let's give these exhibitors a round of applause and I'll select you a grand in reserve. Again, one more round of applause for our judge today, Noah Scringer. Thank you, Noah.
Your champion bull is lot two from Reigns Family Shorthorns, Reigns Authority, AMG. And reserve bull honors go to lot seven, lot seven from Maple Brook Farms, MBCF Raising a Hurricane. Again, thank you all for joining us today. Congratulations to our bull exhibitors on a great bull show, and congratulations to all the uh, class winners and, and everybody that showed today. Be sure and come over to the barns now for lunch and to view the cattle up close and personal. Thank you all.